So far in this video series, we've been listening to organ stops, drawing them really almost at random, not knowing what we're going to be getting. We're experimenting actually at this stage and that's great. We're listening, we're learning by trial and error. But now, I think it's about time we began to listen and understand what the various stops are doing to identify the various tone colors. We have two things to listen for when we're trying to understand organ stops. We have pitch, which is specified with a number like 16, 8, 4, 2, and, and so forth. But we also have to listen for tone color. And there are two basic categories of organ tone color. And for simplicity, let's think of them this way. We have the flues, that is pipes that have flue work in them to generate tone. And then reeds, where there's a reed that vibrates against a block. That's another type of stop. Virtually every organ you're going to encounter has both of these categories. Now, within each category, there's a gradation from soft to bolder and, and sometimes just overbearingly loud. And we must learn how to hear these and on hearing, by listening, determine what sound we are listening to and to be able to express that in a word. A lot of times there'll be organ stop names and it's also going to be interesting to see how often what our feeling is about a stop matches with the name that has been given to the stop. Sometimes it's different. Within each of these categories, there are varying strengths of tone and qualities as well, qualities of tone. So what I'm going to do now on this instrument is to pull three eight-foot pitch stops individually, but with each one having a little bit more strength than the preceding one. I'm going to play middle C, and we're going to start with flute type tone. Okay. Next, we're going to proceed to a little bit louder tone, which we would classify as a string tone. And next, a tone which we would classify even stronger as a diapason or principal tone. So again, from softest, medium, and loud. Now, these stops have names, and you will get to associate the sounds with the names as you become more experienced. I can do the very same thing with three eight-foot stops from the other division on this organ. Let's try it. We'll start with the quietest. This is a flute-type sound. Next, something that might be called a string tone. And next, something that might be called a principal or diapason tone. Now, so far, all of these are flue stops. Next, I'm going to be moving to the reeds, and I'm going to be playing three successively louder reed stops. Let's go. Again, these stops all have their individual names. The names can change. There are literally dozens of possible names for every kind of organ tone you'd want, depending on what the builder wants to name it, or what the designer or consultant wants to name it, or based on any number of historical factors, including the country of origin, that is responsible for influencing that sound or that organ. So the best thing to do is not to pay so much attention to the sound of the names, but listen to the sound of the pipe 
and try to remember these three categories. Once you master the art of identifying and classifying the strength and quality of each organ stop, you're going to gain confidence so that when you expect to have a certain sound on the organ, you know just where to go to draw it to get that sound.